Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. And as the title says, this video is actually going to be about roster mania. I already made a couple videos, one on Sunday, one on Monday, if you guys want to go and check those out, talking about what changes you think would happen in the future. And I thought it would be a little bit while longer before we saw some changes happen, but it's already begun. So let's not waste any time in here. Let's get into some of the roster changes already. We're going to start off with Ghost Gaming here. So Ghost Gaming had a phenomenal, a phenomenal weekend at Mexico City. They placed third out of the open bracket. They literally only lost to Optic Gaming. Two matches, one in winners, one in losers, only to Optic Gaming. So they really, you know, they were really playing well. And it's really surprising to see them do a roster change. And the roster change that they had was they dropped Phenomenon. And it wasn't really for issues and stuff that, that most people would even think and I'm gonna pull up an image right here and it's basically the reason why he got dropped this is hard for me to say especially since we did so well and personally I like you on the team but everyone else knew you came on as the, the fifth man and was tr wasn't truly comfortable with you as an individual and they wanted to pick up someone else for the remainder of the season it's not about your gameplay it's not about your skill it's about you as a person it's more about vibes and personality I want everyone on the team to be comfortable with each other and treat each other as family and be close friends you are a dead ass a great player and I know you'll get a brolic team but I seriously Seriously, want to finish wish you the best man like I dead ass don't want to type this up but this is what's best for the team and I guess phenomenon truly wasn't happy about that but I wonder who they're gonna pick up it's a mystery as of right now and just really want to wonder see already I just want to fast forward and see who they're gonna pick up so we're gonna go to roster change number two so roster change number two is one that surprised me. And as you already see, it's up there. It's Team Allegiance. Um, I really thought this team had the tools needed to win. They just needed a little bit more guidance on like the objective and, and the real nitty-gritty fine print stuff. And I thought they could bring on a coach or a six-man or something to help them with that. But instead, they made a roster change. And that roster change, ladies and gentlemen, is actually going to be Yogurt. Yogurt was dropped. I, I don't really know what really happened with this team with Yogurt getting dropped, but it was obviously bad enough to where it just wasn't working anymore for them. Maybe they found a better player. Maybe they think it's Yogurt's fault. I don't know, but we found this out with Yogurt tweeting out free agent earlier today, and it's just sad to see such a good team you know, want to make a roster change. But, I mean, they've been pretty pretty steady with their placements lately but like i said i would think it's more of a fifth man or sixth man issue rather than a fifth man issue next up on our roster changes is mfh and it's kind of sad to see but I, I saw something like this happening they kind of just disbanded most of these players went their own way i know fatal strikes a free agent detox is a free agent Trauma and Atomic might be a, a team of two. I don't know if they're going to be able to or they are going to try anything as free agents. And I, I don't really know what Twist is doing. But, you know, MFH, they just all went their separate ways after a performance that which they thought they didn't deserve. They thought they can do better as a team. And since they didn't, I understand them going their own way. And to really finalize the uh, notable roster changes after Mexico City that happened is Panda Global. Um, kinda, I wanna say the same situation as MFH where they just really all disbanded and are looking to go their separate ways. As you see a tweet from Drix is on that note, IMFA. And then you see it from Osby, he's just saying free. Shock says FA, no, I did not get dropped. Keeping my option opens, please retweet. And then Strang saying, might be an FA. I think we disbanded. Um, didn't have anything come from Nasty's mouth regarding the situation via Twitter. All I know is it looks like they just disbanded and went their separate ways. Maybe, you know, like I said, another team that I think played really well at this event, actually. Um, tying in pool play, having a really close match against E6 for top eight, seven, six, seven, six, all coming down to round 13s. 
It just very disappointing performance, and, and I believe that would be the issue for them. They didn't want to stick together. Maybe they this one event, they realized, hey, maybe we're just not for each other. I don't really know too much, but what I do have for you guys is a word from the Panda guys themselves, or I should say uh, Glenn. He's actually uh, with Panda, and he says, we will see what happens. Hopefully, we know more about Panda and its future with Gears. Night all. Talking about tomorrow. So, hopefully, we get some news on, on the Panda situation. And that's really all the roster mania I got for you guys today. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. And if you guys want to know anything, if you guys got any roster changes, maybe some predictions on some roster changes, feel free to post in the comments below. And with that said, you guys have a great night. Adiós.